Welcome back to day 26. I know I'm posting this after the end of the month, but you know the videos will continue. I've watched uh, 101 films as of today, starting with The Killing of Dolls. It's a Spanish film by Michael Scaife, I think. Michael Madrid. Um, this is an interesting film. Basically, it's a slasher giallo about a kid that's been uh, trained to be a, uh, a girl. His mother basically raised him as a girl, and he's got this bizarre obsession with mannequins as well as a lot of anger towards women, which he takes out by killing them. Bizarre imagery, very off-putting, but an interesting film. Typical, typical of the 1970s Euro sleaze. Yeah, it's still got that gothic feel to it. Recommend it. This is a Mondo Macabro release. Uh, I have not checked out the special features yet, but I will. Next up, 1980, I believe it's 1985, Society, with Brian, directed by Brian Usna. Of course, this has got the famous Screaming Mad George special effects. That uh, Basically, this is a film about... Uh, a society, kind of like a, a neighborhood club that's uh, very, very strange, just to, <laughs> to put it bluntly. And they, they carry out these strange sex rituals, the group orgies where they're, as you can see from the cover, I mean, the people end up getting kind of uh, blended together. You know, it's I actually why I, I, this, this release from Arrow is a great release. I've got, I've had this a uh, few years I actually watched the um, Joe Bob Briggs edition of it on Shutter. Uh, it's a it's a strange movie I can see why it didn't it wasn't a big hit when it first came out it's 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 just you know it's hard to describe unless you've seen it it's it's uh, a lot of it it's body horror on I think it's body horror on steroids is the best way to describe it um, and then I watched on, I might have watched this on, I might have watched this on Amazon Prime. I'm not quite sure. I, I don't remember, but Nina Forever, 2015. This is a British horror comedy about a, a woman that's basically terrorized. She dies and she comes back from the dead to terrorize uh, her ex-boyfriend and her and his new lover. So during sex... Nina shows up in the bed, you know, looking like a corpse, a zombie, and she's, uh, you know, interrupting some very serious situation. It, it's an interesting concept. I think it's one of those films that I think was a fun first watch, but it's not one I'd want to go back to. Uh, I did like the I did like the story, and I like the idea of it, uh, but it, I don't think it's enough to carry a ninety minute film. I mean, once you get past the initial premise, it's it doesn't really go anywhere. It's just a series of bedroom scenes with Nina and terrorizing this, this, her ex-boyfriend and his girlfriend. Uh, it's directed a guy named Ben Blaine, who I'm, I'm not familiar with. All right, well, that's a quick update on day 26. Appreciate you watching.